Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we will be doing a quick speed test comparison of two devices around the 25 to 30,000 price segment. We have the newly launched Vivo T4 Pro and we have segments one of the best devices, the OnePlus Nord CE5. So let's just go to the about device on both the phones. So there you go, uh, about device and here also we have 2.8 gigahertz snapdragon 7 gen 4 this is a new chip relatively new chip we have android 15 12 gigabyte ram front touch os uh, 15 and then uh, we have uh, here we have the mediatek dimensity 8350 apex chip oneplus not ce 58 gigabyte ram android 15 and this is oxygen os 15 so that's the hardware now there is a difference this is lpddr 4x ram and ufs 2.2 while this is lpddr 5x ram and ufs 3.1 so that is one of the differentiating aspect let's also check the settings so you can see both are connected to the same wi-fi network and both are in airplane mode as well so just clearing off all the background apps so let's start the speed test so we'll be opening the 16 apps and then we'll check the anti score the geekbench test and also the network test so let's start with asphalt unite so let's see which opens uh, this uh, game faster so we have the game mode enabled on both the devices So almost same time, maybe fractionally uh, T4 Pro was uh, faster, but you can't say that. Almost same time, now next is uh, BGMI. Let's see how it for performs. So once again, T4 Pro has taken the lead here. And T4 Pro has opened it faster. So both the games, uh, T4 Pro was faster. The next uh, is uh, Play Store, again uh, T4 Pro was faster, Chrome Browser, again T4 Pro was faster, Facebook, almost same time, Twitter, uh, oh, OnePlus was faster, Instagram, again OnePlus is faster, Spotify, again OnePlus is faster, Amazon, OnePlus is faster, Flipkart, uh, Vivo is faster, file manager, OnePlus is faster, settings, almost same time, YouTube, uh, Vivo is faster, Gmail, Vivo is faster, camera, again Vivo is slightly faster, maps, once again Vivo is faster. Now both the devices are neck to neck in terms of performance uh, and uh, some of the apps are faster on the Vivo while some of the apps are faster on the OnePlus Nord CE5. So I would say almost similar experience. The next uh, is the memory management. Let's see how they perform in terms of memory management. So currently all the apps are available. Now here you can see here YouTube has been reloaded on uh, OnePlus available. Flipkart is once again reloaded on OnePlus. Again it is reloaded. Once again reloaded. Available. Twitter is available. Facebook is available. Chrome browser again reloaded. This is also reloaded. Games once again reloaded. Uh, this is uh, partially to do with uh, the 12 gigabyte RAM on uh, this device, while this is 8 gigabyte RAM only. And finally, Asphalt Unite again, it has been reloaded. So, Vivo did a really good job in terms of memory management with 12 gigabyte RAM, while uh, on OnePlus Nord CE5, a lot of apps uh, were reloaded. And uh, this was 8 gigabyte RAM variant, the one which we have right now with us. So that was the memory management. Let's uh, see the network uh, speed of these two devices. So we'll just check uh, if both are connected to the same network. So there you go. So we'll start with uh, Vivo. So here you can see here exact same results we have got, not much of difference. Now in terms of anti-2 benchmark, uh, this is one area where uh, you can see that the Dimensity uh, 8350 Apex uh, wins almost 14 lakh versus almost 10 lakh, 9 lakh, 87,000. This is 13 lakh, 98,000. So that is one area where these two devices uh, differ a lot. So we'll also see uh, the individual score so cpu score is quite similar but the gpu score is where the a3 uh, pfizer apex uh, uh, wins it is uh, way higher than uh, uh, the vivo t4 
Pro. Now next, uh, let's see the storage test tools of these devices. So we'll just uh, test the storage value. UFS 2.2 versus UFS 3.1. So that also will have an impact uh, so we can let's just uh, wait for the results to appear. So we can clearly see that 85,000 versus 1,44,000. So UFS 3.1 obviously will have an advantage here. And finally, let's see the Geekbench test of these two devices. So we have the results here. So you can see here 1269 versus 1304, not much of difference. 3628 versus 3937, so not much of difference here. Uh, although uh, it is definitely higher on uh, the OnePlus Nord CE5. So that was the speedest comparison of these two devices. So which of these devices will you pick? Uh, now the Vivo T4 Pro has the advantage that uh, uh, it has a telephoto lens, a 3x telephoto, while uh, uh, this does not have a telephoto lens on the Nord CE5, while this is an ultra wide. Now the advantage for the Nord CE5 is the processor and UFS 3.1 and LPDDR5 x RAM. Uh, so that's the uh, advantage and also higher capacity battery. So this was uh, the speedest comparison. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.